Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break, your home for current community talk, with Patricia Duart, Darlene Hayes, and Connie Wright. Hello, thanks for joining us. Uh, look who we have joining us for coffee this morning is Hannah Kruger. Hannah <laughs> is um, a resident of Hopkinton, grew up here. We're going to learn all about her, meeting Hannah for the first time. And the big news is you're running with your sister in the Boston Marathon yeah. for the first time, I believe. Yes, yeah. So this will be uh, both of our first Boston. Um, it'll be my first marathon, and mm -hmm. Megan has done one previous marathon. Wow. What'd she do before that one? She did rock and roll in DC. So that was about two years ago. She did that and that was actually, they had a half marathon too. So that was my first half marathon in her first fall. Oh, okay. so, so yeah. a little history. So Hannah and your sister Megan, yes. when did you graduate from high school? Just put some um, context yeah. here. Um, mm -hmm. So I graduated in 2012 mm -hmm. um, and my sister graduated in 2010. Okay. So, right. so they, um, I watched them grow up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, and, and over the years, uh, have enjoyed you. Your sister was a runner, mm -hmm. but you played sports. Yeah. You know, what I, was your sport? <laughs> anything that wasn't involving running. Um, oh, okay. I hated running for a very long time. Mm -hmm. um, so I played uh, volleyball in high school, okay. um, and I was also on the track team. But um, short runs. Uh, actually jumping. Jumping. Yeah. So oh, the wow. only running was okay. like up to the bar or into the sand pit. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was how I got away with getting on the track team but not having to run. <laughs> so funny. what got you interested in running at all and certainly the marathon, yeah. the behemoth of all things? Um, <laughs> runners. Yeah. So I, um, when I went to college in 2012, mm -hmm. um, I wasn't playing any sports and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to go crazy with all the schoolwork <laughs> and totally different. You're moving away from home. There's a lot of different stresses. Mm -hmm. um, so I started going to the gym there and I started running and then I was like, oh, this is why people like this. Uh, like it well, feels okay. good. Well, and your <laughs> mom and dad both run too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, now, where, so where'd you go to college? I went to Stonehill College in Eastern okay. Massachusetts. Yep. Excellent. Yeah, Excellent. So, wow. Local. Yeah. Stay local. <laughs> what did you, you major in? Um, I was a double major in psychology and sociology. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. And you're applying that now, your job. Yes, yeah. So okay. I, um, I'm a teacher at the New England Center for Children. Oh, um, it's a school for kids with autism. Um, so they have a residential program and they also have a day program. Oh, um, so I'm part of the residential program. Oh. So. Yeah, it's so much fun. Well, I was actually at that facility when it was dedicated oh, with uh, Michael Dukakis. Oh my gosh, that's stuff. so cool. Um, my cousin yeah. was the attorney that actually helped close that building. It has oh, great wow. and, It's um, huge. It's huge. We're totally taking over Route 9. It's got a phenomenal <laughs> reputation. Does, does Skylar Wright work there too? Yeah, she's actually on my team, which is really? crazy. There's now three of us from my graduating class. We're all oh, on you the same team. So Skylar's my next door neighbor. Yeah. Oh my God, that's so funny. <laughs> Hannah yeah. played soccer, and that's how I think, I think it was soccer or basketball. Yeah. I don't remember. Cam and I were on the same soccer, soccer team. Soccer team. I remember that. And then Skylar also was yep. sports. Mm -hmm. She was basketball. Yeah. Well, in yeah. high school, but this was softball. like when they were itty bitty, yeah. you know. <laughs> that's one thing about Hopkinton. I mean, maybe it's all high schools now, but so many kids are involved in sports. Oh, I yeah. mean, it's just the predominant yeah. thing that everybody picks up a sport and, and, and learns to, to be good at it. But so, so you have yeah. those guys at, at uh, work. Yeah. Um, a little bit about your responsibilities, what you guys are doing, yeah. and what's going on there. So um, it's definitely a different kind of work environment. Um, so the kids um, that I work with are kind of on the lower end of the uh, functioning spectrum. Mm -hmm. um, so. All of my students are nonverbal, um, so mm -hmm. some of them have vocalizations, but most of them have like iPads or mm. AAC devices so that they can communicate, which is like, wow. I'm wow. not like a huge proponent of technology, but mm -hmm. then all of a sudden I like see these kids who don't have language who are now like able to communicate but with they me. Are, they're and able to text type and Yeah, so they have like pictures yeah, picture. mm -hmm. that are like, and then if they type it, it's spe the iPad right. will speak out loud and like say the words so that even when we're not like attending to them yes. directly, we can still hear what they're saying. Yeah. Um, so it's, it's amazing because a lot of the behaviors that come up are because they can't communicate what they want. Yeah. And yeah. like, I totally get that. Like it, right. it makes sense. You can't express yourself. It's yeah. terribly frustrating. So um, with the AAC devices, that's just something that I've been like so yeah. amazed by. And some of them are just so good at navigating them. There's oh, like, sure. there was one student who, didn't have a word for milk. So he like went on and was like white water. And it was like, uh, <laughs> that just so resourceful. Like it's amazing. So it's uh, really, it's really cool. Yeah. I mean, awesome. I think it's also neat that you've um, taken where you work and that is actually the charity you're running for. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And how much are you trying to raise? 
Um, so my goal was 9,000. Mm -hmm. um, I've actually crested that, and I Yay! got... Uh, Nine thousand, like six hundred, I think, at this point. Fantastic. Because Congratulations! Yeah. You were shy a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. I was like, okay. Yeah. Well, what are some we'll of the things that you've been doing? For. Yeah. yeah. To do, to have you been able to? Yeah. You've been it was doing like, a lot of th that was like and such. when I talked to you, I was saying, like, the running is one thing. It's it's stressful to have to run that much, but I think the hardest part is going to be raising the money. <laughs> like, right, right. It's hard. Um, but so we did an event at Startline Brewery, which was mm. so great. It was so much fun. Oh. My sister and I had such a great time that people were just like amazing <laughs> yeah it's a fun um, place so that was great another great thing that came from that was we did like a hometown hopkinton basket uh -huh. one of our raffle baskets mm -hmm. so she and i just kind of like went around to local businesses and we're like hey we just wanted to like hang up flyers but then we were like well we're also doing this basket like if you have anything you would want to like donate people were mm -hmm. so generous they were just uh -huh. like oh my gosh this is great like so it was really that was like one of the highlights of my now did you choose like the level that you were going to raise or were you ask. what was like the requirement for your number with the charity yeah. so i had to apply to get the number mm -hmm. um so there was this whole long application process um and so the minimum for my charity was 8500 okay um, so i was like talking to my dad i was like that's a lot yeah. but like i feel like if I want to get the number, I have yeah. to say like more than that. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he was like, "All right, like say that." that was <laughs> like it's still a lot. Right. <laughs> That's right. actually one of the higher ones too. When you look at different yeah. people's goals, it's it, it, well, I think the majority are around that five thousand yeah. mark, and then there's some mm -hmm. twenty five hundred to mm -hmm. thirty five hundred, and I've seen one or two that are at ten. But yeah. and I noticed that yours was an, uh, to be honest, an odd number to yeah. choose, but. Um, that it, that's also a very, it's a high number. It is a high yeah. number. So is that something For that your you first marathon, it's a huge <laughs> number to I'm impressed. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm, you, I'm impressed. So do you and your sister have to raise that to, is that as a team? No, she no my sister is also running for a different charity. Um, oh. So she's running for Back on My Feet. Um, it's a running and mentoring program for okay. individuals who are experiencing homelessness. Mm -hmm. um, so they have chapters kind of all in cities all throughout the country. Mm -hmm. uh, my sister's kind of been all over the place. So she went to undergrad at Notre Dame okay. in Indiana. Mm -hmm. And then she moved to Baltimore and did a year of service there. Mm -hmm. um, and then she just, or so she went to Georgia and did a nursing program there, an accelerated nursing program. Oh. She just graduated in December and is now back in Boston, what? finally. <laughs> well, we would have had her on the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she could be with us yeah. this morning. So she's working yeah. at um, Healthcare for the Homeless in okay. Boston. Oh, excellent. So, yeah. Wow. You Remind me, wonderful. I have to connect her to a friend of mine who started the street medicine program. Oh my gosh, absolutely. now worldwide. Oh my gosh, she, she was in Pittsburgh, that. but yeah. <laughs> she's yeah. So where is she working in Boston? Um, it's it's called Healthcare for the Homeless. It's at uh, St. Francis House. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it's mm -hmm. kind of downtown near the common. But they they administer healthcare to the homeless. Yes. Yeah. And they have this foot clinic, which is something that she's been talking about a lot when she comes home. It's like okay. a new thing that they did. But a lot of the issues that they see with people coming in, especially in the winter, are mm -hmm. like foot problems because sure. feet so are she's wet and cold. Right. And so she's already gotten her master's in nursing. Uh, she got her BSN. Because um, you're also in a graduate program, right? I am in a graduate program, yeah. So I'm going for my master's in applied behavior analysis. Okay. Um, so I started that program in August this past year. Mm -hmm. And Great so I'm almost done with my... Yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. So what school are you doing that from? Um, so it's through Western New England University. Okay. So that's where I'll get my degree. Um, mm -hmm. But it's all like through the New England Center. So all of my classes are... In that Southboro, work. which is like so great, I don't have to go out to right. Southern wow. Mass or whatever. So, as a young person, I mean, did you how? When did you discover this was your calling to do uh, this work? And yeah. obviously, you had the, the the bachelor's degree in the area, so you mm -hmm. must have been known. Yeah. So early on, in um, throughout middle school and high school, I was always involved in Best Buddies, um, but okay. it wasn't really until my junior year of college that I discovered autism. Um, okay. It was still kind of, I mean, it's still like an yeah, emerging field right. and there's so much that's unknown. And so I discovered it, I was working at um, the Hope House. It's the House of Possibilities mm -hmm. out in Easton. Okay. Um, it's like a respite center. It's very mm -hmm. close to Stonehill too. Yes, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right next door. Okay. Um, so I like was doing something for class there and then I was like, oh my gosh, these are my people. Uh -huh. Like I would come back to campus and people mm -hmm. would be like, you were at the Hope House, weren't you? <laughs> like, you're so much happier that right is now. So, great. That's great. Um, so I was like, yeah, that's that's what I want to do. Now, do you and your sister have other siblings? No, nope. it's just the two of us. Two oh. girls, and so both of you guys end up in very altruistic yeah. professions, and so did you grow up 
I mean, you said about Best Buys, but your, are, do your parents, your parents? work oh this way gosh. too? My parents are just fabulous people. Oh, tell us about they're, them. Yeah, they're perfect. Um, <laughs> oh, so, so yeah, um, My dad is, um, he's in sales, mm -hmm. um, but when he's not doing sales stuff, he's doing stuff for everybody else. Oh. Um, so he mm -hmm. is um, on the committee of the Sharon Timlin race. Yep. Okay. Um, so he's the co-chair okay. of that. Mm -hmm. um, We've had Abby on the show yeah, before and stuff. Yeah, they're amazing. Oh, that's so great. <laughs> um, that's, so that race is just totally mm. grown. It's, it's become great. like a major town event. Um, we were actually talking a couple months ago about things that are actually kind of become signature things in Hopkinton. There's, you know, the marathon, then there's the Timlin, and now this, like, every other year doing kind of like almost like a Hopkinton Day in the Poly Arts. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But those seem to now become, and the Timlin over years has now become a signature event in the Which town, so and the whole cool. town We're comes up for town. it. We're town. Yeah. yeah. So, right. But the, I'm thinking even more the whole family aspect of it with mm -hmm. the games and the kids yeah. and um, live music and mm -hmm. hot acoustics playing yeah. there. It Absolutely. makes it an entire day event. Well, and, and also <laughs> Live Forever now is yep. that's here a biggie in town, too. Which and, is my and dad's actually on the committee for that as well. well. I've seen you guys there. <laughs> yeah. and, you yeah. know, I've started running. Oh, it. we've walked yeah. that a few times. Uh, I'm Run. Uh, I can't say that. You know, I look at you doing the marathon. I'm like, oh my god, because a three. You know, a 5K, three miles is, is really it's a piece yeah. of tapping me do. out. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, I won't lie. That's how I felt in right. like my freshman year of college. That's how I, I was like, oh, my gosh, I ran three miles without stopping. So tell <laughs> us, what's your, been your training? How did you get oriented to doing this? And what's been your, your training regimen to get prepared for the marathon? slush? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's, um, so it was in college, I, like, started out really slow. And then by my senior year, I was just kind of running what I felt like, um, yeah. which was great. And I was up to doing like 15 milers and feeling good. And wow. um, so then I, I guess it was in November, I got my number mm -hmm. for Boston. Um, and then I started following this BAA program that was on the website right. that right. my sister had actually gotten her number like a week before me. Mm -hmm. So was um, it like two weeks ago was your long run or last week? Yeah, or yeah, we weeks? did 21. Yeah. It was two weeks ago. Mm. Did, mm. did you do it with any other runners? Life or because there is a group that yeah, does it, sort of the long run together. Yes. There's 8,000 of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so I'm actually running, so the New England Center is part of this marathon coalition. So it's a group of 21 of the like, smaller charities. Um, so if you look at the Dana-Farber, the uh, mm -hmm. Children's Hospital, they have like massive teams and they have <sighs> coaching and all of these things. So these guys, uh, my coaches who a couple, or so it was maybe like 10 years ago they were like what about the smaller charities like i want them to have the same experience you right, know like right. the coaching the whole like bond make experience. it how to yeah. get through the Just marathon super how to exciting yeah. um and so they started this marathon coalition so there's 21 charities all of them are smaller they have i think i think the respite center center is actually one of them even though they're an official they're an official charity yeah. that is actually one of them and emc underwrites their um coaching oh, okay yeah, yeah. So it's like this, the team sizes are anywhere from like two people to like 50, I think. Wow. Um, but every Saturday we go out and we do our long runs together. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So we meet in Newton <laughs> and run on the Newton Hills. Oh, wow. Which is, um, yeah. so. Get you ready. If nothing yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that once I hit those. <laughs> You're like, I know this. I know like, this. Yeah, I know this. I've done <laughs> this before. <laughs> So what do you wear, I mean, in terms of your gear to be yeah. comfortable and, and... I think what she yeah. has on is going to work. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. I know, Hopefully I was... Their shoes. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. but I mean, that's a whole thing, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the interesting thing is I'm starting to freak out because I'm looking at the extended forecast and it's like saying it's going to be 70. And I'm like, I haven't oh. run in anything other than like... Cold. <laughs> Negative four, yeah. <laughs> right, right. So nice. I've been wearing a lot of layers this winter mm -hmm. and training in a New England winter is definitely something that's different. Okay. Um, yeah. So like... There have been days where it's been canceled because it was like negative four with a wind chill of negative 20. Yeah. yeah. So right. like, let's run on the treadmill today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, 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 right. Um, but yeah, um, but then there's other, like last weekend we did a 12 miler mm -hmm. and it was harder than the 21 miler because it was raining and hailing and then started yeah. snowing and then there was like an inch of slush and you're like slipping. <laughs> I don't want to be like, slipping and falling. Everything like hurts. <laughs> yeah. Um, but so yeah, you were I your mean, it's. If you train in all the elements, hopefully that'll be good. But so we have like singlets that we'll mm -hmm. wear that mm -hmm. like say our charity. Sure. On right, right, right. So do you know if you and your sister are in the same wave? She, we're in the same. 
what is it, corral, but corral. not the same wave? Uh, or same wave, but not same corral. Yeah. Same yes. wave, not yeah. same corral. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So she's in the one ahead of me. She said she might like bump back and run with me, but mm -hmm. um, she's just going to be faster. She's so I'm like, yeah. girl, just go. <laughs> <laughs> Do your thing. Um, so now is she true, trying yeah. to be able to be qualified? Yeah. She won't tell you she is, but she is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, seriously. Um, she's, she's amazing. She wants to do eight minute pace, um, <gasps> mm -hmm. which is what like I had gone into this saying I was going to do. But mm -hmm. then I realized that like, oh, Hannah, just doing yeah. it is amazing. Yeah. So <laughs> exactly. I was telling uh, Jean Can, I had talked to her and she was like, well, what's your like goal for finishing? And I was like, my goal is to like still love running when I'm done. Yeah. Because I know so <laughs> yeah. many people that'll like do like couch to 5K and do their first 5K and be like, that was the okay. worst experience of my life. I hate running. I never mm -hmm. want to run again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I want to finish this and be like, yes, this, I still love it. And right. I still want to like keep running and okay. do and it if again. You've trained in all this weather and yeah. cold and slush and still love it. And your enthusiasm yeah. is evident. <laughs> your gorgeous yeah. smile. Oh, well, I know like everything. Carly Grant, who's um, running it and she's a, she's a qualified runner. She's part of the hopping running club, but she's written some articles about this whole like physiology that you start feeling and stuff like that. And that it's like, it becomes like this fight with your body, but then also this emotional thing of like, I'm doing this, I'm yeah, doing this, and yeah. coming out feeling like, It's a whole wow. internal thing yeah. I hear. There is, running is so mental, and it can be damagingly mental sometimes. Oh, okay. My mom was like, Hannah, I'm not waking you up until like 10 o'clock on Marathon Monday because you're going to think too much. Mm -hmm. um, so, Does your mom run yeah. too? Um, she does run, mm -hmm. yeah, not competitively, yep. but um, she's just better. You're both athletic. See, I'd huh? see her father and her, well, your mom, yeah. while you two were in college oh. out there on oh, the yeah. road running, yep. so um, yeah. they, oh they, they do it, and they've been very supportive. Mm -hmm. Well, and yeah. your sister used to run, yep. and then had some injuries mm -hmm. and some health issues, yeah. so for her to come back from that. Oh my gosh, yeah. So it's, it's always been her dream um, to run the Boston Marathon, and so... Um, when she was in eighth grade, she was running a kids one mile mm -hmm. on Heartbreak Hill on Marathon Monday. Wow. Um, so that morning she was experiencing some like weird sensations in her hip um, and was like, whatever, I'm gonna run the race, do my thing. Um, she was like super competitive runner. She ran a 515 mile in eighth grade. Which wow. Was just disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, so she ran up Heartbreak, was on her way down, um, and like the girl behind her was getting closer, so she lengthened her stride. Her hip snapped and she went down and oh yeah, so yep. she broke her femur oh. Oh. Um, and was out for a really long time. Mm. Um, so her thing has always been like, I want to like, I need to conquer this. I need yeah. to. Yeah. Do and that was in eighth grade. So I'm just thinking yeah. back that that's right before you guys go on that DC trip too. Oh yeah. She was on crutches, crutches for the oh, DC yeah. trip she and everything. Was, oh, infamous yeah. DC yeah. And I remember all that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. So I know uh, when you first got here and um, you were talking about how um, you guys used to host runners oh, at yes. your home. Yeah. 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 Every okay. year we host usually at least like seven runners at our house. Um, so people, it started out as like family friends and then it was like friends, friends of are theirs friends. Yep. because the word got around and so people from like Wisconsin and mm -hmm. so with you and Megan running are you guys hosting runners again we are and my mom actually reached out to a bunch of our neighbors and was like we just need bids <laughs> right now because so we'll have like a pasta party the night before okay and then the day of um we'll do breakfast and everything so it's really just like now sleeping arrangements because <laughs> usually Megan and I all like sleep on the floor in my parents room and yeah, just yeah, yeah. so that there's more beds um you should probably sleep in a bed this year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the you, you guys are you and your yeah. should be comfortable. Well, and it, it is it, fun to host the runners. It's, at, it, you know. it's Easter weekend, so that Saturday you guys will be at the convention center. Yep, I think we're going to go on Saturday. Um, so we have runners coming in on either Thursday night or Friday, I mm -hmm. think, are like the first ones that are coming through. And then um, one of the girls on my team is actually going to stay with us. Oh, that's mm. fun. So, oh, that's fun. And her sister is running, too. Oh, um, wow. So it'll be, it's just, it's going to be so much fun. I'm so oh, excited. Awesome. <laughs> well, and there are a number of uh, people from town, a number of yeah. RHH members mm -hmm. like you guys. Mm -hmm. They're actually running. 48, me 48 that are running from Hopkinton oh this gosh. year. Wow. Um, That's so crazy. And, so you know, there were, I remember talking to Tim Kildoff a couple of weeks ago about you and your sister because I said, you know, he said I, that I told him about how we were doing the shout outs on the Real Housewives yeah. page. And I said, yeah, there are a couple that are unique. One is the sisters. Yeah. And I said, and there's also a husband and wife running. And then the wife is a qualified runner, and the husband is running for Keep Smiling for, the, for Abby, and it's right. his first time running. Yeah. And, you know, to see, he, and he's like, those are really unique stories. Yeah. To have siblings running together. And, um, I think you guys are the, 
you guys and the husband and wife are the only like kind of families going mm -hmm. together. Mm -hmm. The Murphys mm -hmm. tried years ago, and Mary got oh, injured. Right. Well, I, they, well, they actually met running like yeah. that too. So they met doing the marathon. But the um, the meeting just this year that yeah. that's out of this 48, year, yeah. we have you know a pair of siblings and a husband and wife running, which is which really is cool. cool. Yeah. Megan actually, um, when we did that long run, she ran with James and Alana. Who are oh, the husband and wife? Right. Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So awesome. we're um, James was actually Megan's physical therapist when she broke her hip. Oh my goodness! So this has been just like everything's come full circle, and um, so it's just oh, we're so excited. <laughs> now, who's going to meet? Who's going to meet you at the finish line? Um, my parents will be there, mm -hmm. um, and then I know that the Marathon Coalition has like we can go into the West End and right. there's like a whole okay. event there. But um, mm -hmm. my parents will for sure be there. So uh, even when we host runners, what we do is see everyone off at the start. Run to the cars, book it to Heartbreak Hill, see everybody at the top of Heartbreak, yes. and then my dad will go into the finish and pick everybody up. And my, my mom and I usually Good head home. But uh, it's gonna yeah. be an amazing now weekend for your family. No, you're gonna be too <laughs> funny. Yeah. You'll be looking for I them. Know, it's Absolutely. Be, well, it's good because I know where they're gonna be. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. Yeah, it's true. Having stood there for 20 years. <laughs> so let's go over the charities one more time. Yeah. So, what is your charity? So I'm running for the New England Center for Children. And your sister is running for Back on My Feet. Um, and we're gonna have both websites up on the page. Yeah, um, absolutely. Other things going on this weekend is um, Emma Howe, who's also running. I don't know if you know her. She's a couple years younger than okay. you. Mm -hmm. um, she is actually running for Dana Farber. She is actually having an art show on Sunday at yes. Cultural Arts at mm -hmm. 2 o'clock and there are 12 artists that are putting their work up for auction for her her run oh gosh, awesome. and so I mean I think we're 10 days away today the show this show will air tonight, tonight. so it's, it's it's technically is 10 days mm -hmm. it'll probably air a couple times next week so oh we'll make sure that um, we yeah. get it out there well, we thank and you we'll so be much cheering you on yeah. marathon Monday yeah you guys are you gonna be out there oh, of course yeah. oh, great. absolutely so what, in what wave it. are you in the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What, 11.15? Uh, yeah, it should be around then, oh, I think. Good, yeah. good. Will you go all the way over to the high school to, to the Athletes Village, or will you just... I think we'll probably just hop in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, get through, the, get through the gates. It's so funny. Um, it, it yeah, kind well, of, when you've d been doing, seeing the marathon yeah. for so many years, it's, it's like, I don't need to Absolutely. be in the village. Yeah. I just want to get yeah, to Yeah, I know. Well, yeah. Hannah, it has been, it's been a pleasure meeting yeah. you. I'm yeah, sorry, Megan couldn't be with us, but we'll be cheering you yeah. on. So and we'll be rooting for Megan and Megan Hannah. Megan and yeah. Hannah yeah. and all the runners awesome. um, from Hopkins. And you guys and are everyone. doing just in your personal lives wonderful work for your profession. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. What a so, gift. Thank you guys. On so many levels. So exciting to just oh hear my gosh. what you guys Thank you guys for having me. It's oh, a so yeah. pleasure. To be here. Thank you. Thank Thanks you for so being much. here. And thanks for joining us, everyone. All righty. We'll see you at the start line. <laughs>
for providing food for individuals and family. And that's the key, that's the key. is yeah. working well together. You can see more episodes online at our website, hkim.tv. Hi, I'm Tim Kilduff, and this is Business Matters. Let's talk a little bit about the history. I mean, uh, you were born into something pretty special, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. The shop is a, is a safe haven for a lot of people, young and old. Business Matters is HCAM's show focusing not only on businesses at Hopkinton, but more importantly, the people who run and manage those businesses. Just a minute, folks. It's Dive-In Drive-In time, and we've got a great Western for you today. Dive-In Drive-In is a new program featuring the HCAM staff's favorite B-movies. We hope you enjoy these treasured films of yesteryear. And even if we don't get paid, there ain't no job we trade. We're hard and break and stay to stay no longer Santa Fe. So check out the HKM TV website at hkm.tv for movie games and showtimes. Welcome to Break Gardens. Just make sure that you water regularly and through November. So I think we can go ahead and start uh, back going here. I think fall is one of the best times to plant roses. When you can squeeze your soil and hold it together, that's good. Welcome to Hopkinton Coffee Break. A very special dessert done by a woman from Hockington that yes. I've started using regularly. We had your residents participating both as vendors and as shoppers. Yeah. And that oh, was that so was so much fun. fun. Uh, real Hopkinton Housewives. If you're on Facebook, you will have a blast. Thanks for joining Cheers, us. Cheers, guys. Thank great. you. Yeah, good to see you see too. You guys. Bye bye. Hi, I'm Cheryl Peralt, host of the program Meet Your Neighbor on HCAM TV. Kids got so much on their plate mm -hmm. and they're traveling here and they're traveling there. You know, they still, they still need help from time to time. My father always was outdoors. I mean, he grew up, he had pet baby squirrels. This show introduces you to Hopkinton residents, the many interesting people who are our neighbors, and we invite them to share stories, experiences, insights, and observations from their lives.